gets a three count. A wrestling headliner takes the New York limelight when England's Lord Leslie Carlton meets Johnny Moran of Rochester, New York, in Madison Square Garden. That's his lordship getting instructions from his Hindu Swami. Now, Carlton is one of the few professional wrestlers who thus employs the wisdom of the Orient. Johnny Berend, on the other hand, depends solely on native American know-how. Johnny gets an arm lock on Carlton, who in turn gets a word from his swami, and thereupon spins his way out of trouble. Once more, Berend is working over his lordship's poor right arm. And when the British Blue Bud seeks to reach the ropes, well, the referee seeks to foil him. Carlton is Britain's gift to the wrestling public. Although he may be a nobleman, he most certainly is not a gentleman. And Johnny Berend is finding this out. Again, Lord Carlton is warned, and the crowd agrees with Berend to let him have it. Carlton's turn. But Johnny gets out from under. Lord Carlton, a proud but angry pair, chases him clear across the ring. You see, his lordship considers all American wrestlers to be boors. He treats them like dogs. Now there's Berend, and he's feeling like a cur. Now the referee has words with this member of nobility, who's so enraged that he even tries to pull out Berend's dentures. Again, his sneering lordship turns a deaf ear on the referee. Another jolt for Johnny. But now the waltz begins. It's time for Carlton Capers. Aha! Drop kick hits the Englishman. Miranda's on him like lightning, but Lord Carlton is not an easy man to pin. And now the garden crowd sees his lordship pleading for mercy. It seems that he just can't take it. But who can feel sorry for a Britisher who treats a handsome American lad like this? And now it's Berend who's coming off the ropes to batter his man. Carlton goes over the ropes, but despite his sacrilege, his lordship goes to his corner for advice from the Hindu Swami. Swami isn't talking, but his eyes tell Carlton what to do. <laughs> Apparently, he told Lord Carlton to suffer, but well, that's what his lordship is doing right now. The indignity of it all, an English pair as the fall guy. That's the American dropkick, and again, Johnny Berend is over his foe. But Carlton is made of stern, unpinnable stuff. Moments later, Carlin has Berend on the canvas, and when the ref fails to call it a fall, the Englishman is furious. He forgets his breeding, background, and education to slug it out toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And this you don't learn at Oxford. A dropkick finale by the Britisher is the climax of the match. The referee intercedes, and after talk, it's agreed that the match is a draw. Lord Carlin doesn't like it, but as another famous Englishman might say, all's well that ends well in Madison Square Garden. 